everyone in this tutorial I am going through the real time si sign way and uh, for this I have started a uh, uh, user interface uh, a little, uh, project from template and uh, call it uh, non uh, something and uh, it appear a workspace with a panel and I have put a graph on the graph I have used graph and I have double click on it and I have changed the label to real time sign wave and in bottom x axis I have used relative time and uh, this select auto scale and uko and uh, the minimum value is zero until uh, 120 and the offset is 0 0.01 and the gain is one and uh, it is uko and the left y axis is a floating uh, point and it is uh, between minus 150 to 150 and the offset is 0 0.01 and the gain is 1 and I have uh, deselect the uh, auto scale and uh, then I have used a, a, a button uh, uko button and uh, double click on it and I have called it uh, restore callback and uh, the label is restore because uh, in graph only in graph you can zoom in and out and pan and uh, after uh, zoom in out or pan you can use uh, restore and I have uh, put a numeric uh, a uh, vertical pointer slide and put it here or under uh, classic uh, classic style control use numeric and use the uh, point uh, vertical pointer slide and double click on it and uh, change the label as uh, frequency control enhance and the initial value we are going to put it as uh, from thousand and the data type is integer you are going to select integer and uh, the range values we are going to use from 0 to 20,000 hertz which is 20 kilohertz and uh, I am going to select OK we are going to put another numerical uh, uh, slider and I am going to use that one the vertical pointer slider or uh, the vertical slider it doesn't matter it's vertical slider and double click on it and change the label to amplitude control and the default value I have started from 5 and I have used integer value and the range uh, is going from 0 to 100 and uh, and then I have used a use the uh, I have used the horizontal horizontal uh, slide or horizontal pointer slide and double click on it and I have call it noise control and the, the default value is uh, zero and the data type is uh, the double and the range is uh, between zero until 15 and in increment value is one okay and I have used a timer 
timer and double click on it and I have used timer uh, callback as callback function and I have used another graph strip chart I have used a strip chart and double click on it and x axis is relative time and its uh, minimum value is 0 until 99 and uh, the left the left uh, y axis is between minus 150 to 115 and the offset is 0 0.1 and the gain is 1 and it is floating time floating point and uh, the rest is uh, ok and uh, the trace we have only one trace you can select here traces and you have one trace or you can use two or three traces but I need only one trace and uh, select Uko after all those things I am going on the code generate main function and it's going to generate the panel if the panel has a callback and it's going to generate main function and then I am going to select code generate all callbacks and it appear uh, all those callbacks in here I am going to define uh, declare global variable static double sign of hundred element static int ampere amplitude and a static double my noise uh, with hundred elements and uh, in quit callback you are going to use the quit user interface zero and put away unnecessary events and in graph C a callback in graph callback the only we want to do is event zoom you are going you can select the case or the graph control P or uh, this one control P okay it can uh, you can use it in the, the control panel and the, under the select attribute control P you are using a graph and you are going to select zoom style under the control settings and you must here you must select graph that its function appear and you are going to select the zoom style and uko and here you are going to use wall zoom to rectangle that you can use a rectangle uh, to make a area to be zoomed and uh, again you use another control panel and use uh, the same zooming and panning zooming and panning and the value is 1 and uh, to zoom and panning you must uh, you must be, uh, I am going to show you how you uh, pan and zoom and in restore you are going to reset to set the axis scaling mode you use set axis scaling mode of the graph wall bottom x axis wall manual and it was uh, between 0 to 120 and the set axis scaling mode again and use this one the left y axis wall manual and it was between minus 100 to 100 and in timer callback it is what we 
do the most thing our desired frequency we begin it from thousand we begin it from thousand and we start from thousand and we are going to declare a phase of Pi float and uh, begin it from zero a floating uh, variable P is uh, this value and floating uh, uh, a phrase increment of float uh, type which increment the phase and I am going to use three integers one I one num, uh, num traces and one of them is uh, sample uh, frequency which is 18,000 and the uh, double value minus one we have a noise up there double value minus uh, uh, an array but here it is minus one and inside the even timer tick we are initializing amplitude as five the signals amplitude and the algorithm of the real-time sine wave begins here we are going to use a, a four uh, loop it starts from zero less than 100 and we are going to get the value of the numeric slide to which indicates the amplitude when we are running we can change this uh, amplitude and we are going to put the value inside the amplitude uh, uh, variable amplitude and we are going to get the uh, value from numeric slide one which is this one and it is our frequency we can change it and put it in the uh, uh, desired f and phase increment is 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by frequency divided by sample frequency and the phase is going to be increment by phase increment which is that one we have uh, counted and it calculates the next phase if phase is bigger than 2p the phase is going to increase with 2p it means that it has gone a, a, an, a, 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 a loop it has gone a loop and we are going to put the sign i equal amplitude this amplitude so uh, as we have a, a change and multiple by sin of that phase we have uh, counted and this loop is going 100 times and we are going to get control val we are going to value of the numeric slide tree which is this noise and we are going to increase the noise and we are going to put it in my in minus one and if minus one is positive we have a white noise we are going to use white noise function of hundred and uh, with the uh, uh, number of elements we are going to use hundred element and its amplitude is pi and its seeds is uh, minus one and uh, it is minus one because we are going to generate uh, previous uh, random sequence and uh, it's going to be in uh, 
uh, minus which we have declared as global variable and it is an array with 100 elements that is because we use 100 element as well and we are going to use add 1d of sin sign minus that sign minus with 100 element and sign again this is the array array x array which is the sign we have counted y array it is minus 100 element each they have an output array it's going to be a sign again and I am going to delete graph plot with the uh, with the whatever it is and uh, I am going to plot y the panel of graph and uh, we are going to plot sign that one we have find it here with 100 element and the value is double and zero base vertical bar and the sample dot and it is a uh, solid and it is uh, and it is uh, point frequency is one and the color you can I have chosen red and then I am going to plot strip chart with the panel panel strip chart sign with 100 element and uh, the starting index is 0 and uh, the um, uh, points we want to skip is 0 because I want everything and we are going to have a double precision because it is uh, double values and then we are going to get control attribute of strip chart the item of number and put in a trace and put it on the uh, variable uh, num traces which is indicate the number of traces and we are going to use a, a, a loop uh, begin it from one and until it is less than or equal numerous traces and we are going to set trace attribute uh, in this uh, strip chart with the uh, index i with number of trace is i and the legend is a uh, visible trace visible trace and the value is one that is shows uh, the legend uh, legend trace okay we are going to run this program and as you see we have uh, uh, signals and we are going to uh, raise the amplitude and we are going to raise the frequency and we are going to put noise noises which is going uh, so and for zooming you keep control and the left mouse you are going to select an area and you can see and uh, keep control key and put your uh, keep uh, the uh, the um, left mouse key and use it again and uh, Pan was shift. Okay, but we are going to restore, and it appeared the original we had it from the beginning, and the trace is here, and it's showing that it's going in each second. It happened something here. 
and it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial